least you come here and meet them. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is my Ramadan prep video. I really can't believe that it's been a year since last Ramadan. Like, the year just flew by. I'm so, so glad. Alhamdulillah, I just hope Allah spares our life to witness this Ramadan. Um... I'm going to be doing my Ramadan weekly vlogs, of course, inshallah, or daily. Hmm, we never know. Maybe daily, I don't know, or maybe I can do like after two days. We'll just see, depending on what I get up to during Ramadan. Uh, today, I'm going to the market with my friends. We're going to do some shopping, and I hope it's fun. Inshallah, it's going to be fun. Like, yeah, that's that's about it. I'm going to shop and then organize everything. I bought a couple of items that I'm going to share with you guys as well. Not a lot, actually. What did I get? What, what, what was it? Anyway, I'll just show you guys everything. Also, if you live in Abuja, how are you dealing with this heat? Because I really, 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 really struggle. Right now, I applied sunscreen to my face and I have been sweating. I've been sweating so much. And I don't even know what to do. It's so hot. It's really hot. I just, I can't imagine what. I just hope it rains throughout Ramadan. Because that's, that's, that's like going to be compensation for the heat. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, let me get going. We're in the middle of the market trying to price items. <laughs> you want to be in this <laughs> Guys, I swear market runs are not for the week. I'm pink already. <laughs> we're so tired and we've been coughing because we're in the Tatase department. <laughs> and all the peppers. <laughs> Guys, we just finished and we're about to leave the market. I'm so exhausted. But this was really difficult. I don't see myself coming back anytime soon. I still haven't recovered from yesterday. As you can see, my eyes look so tired. God, let me tell you guys my market experience. We got to the market around, I think, 11. We were meant to go earlier, but then unforeseen circumstances. So we got there around 11 something or 12, actually, because it was quite far. It's all the way in Maraba. I think you have to pass Maraba to get to the market. And then we got there, it was all fun and games, the market was bubbly, there were so many people as usual, like not so many people, but there were people there. So we started with the tomatoes and the tatase, 
What's the test in English? Bell pepper? No. Bell pepper is different. Red bell pepper is different. Anyway, you, you'd, you'd figure that out. And albasa and onion. That's albasa. And just all these things. So we stopped by the tomato place. And then these women, like we were four, and like we were in the middle and it's like a circle of everyone's trying to sell what they're selling to us and it was just so overwhelming there were things that we wanted to buy so we bought a few and then some of them were not fresh enough so we didn't buy them but at a point our freezers turned into we don't buy them we don't buy them we don't buy them because it was like buy this buy this and we've bought it already so it was just too repetitive after that like we kept going back and forth back and forth like imagine grocery shopping with four people like f imagine four people going grocery shopping everyone has something to buy for their house so it was just like one one place after another after another and we all had different lists even though like all the vegetables were the same and we mostly bought vegetables and yeah just m mainly vegetables because that's what the market has to offer also i have realized that the whole orange market is very cheap isn't really the case because i think i would have spent the same thing i spent in the market as i would have in utaku market for example i think that's the or maybe that's just me because you think about the logistics of getting there and then you think about everything you're buying and then the stress and all of it's just not worth it i don't think i'll do it again and i do not recommend just send somebody if you have somebody that you can send just send somebody there but going there personally is really difficult unless if you just love going to the market and yeah that's about it like the price difference isn't really that much it's just as they sell it everywhere not everywhere but like in most places but for like provisions they're way more affordable but you know it's ramadan like we didn't even get to buy fruits because i didn't see any fresh fruits <laughs> that was worth buying and i still have a lot of things on my list that i need to go to the supermarket to buy that's what i'm doing today um so yeah that's just that was the experience i do not see myself going back there again orange market goodbye i have experienced it i'm thankful i've experienced it and that's it that's all that matters so far this is what i have in my cart just some fruits and vegetables i'm getting this milk bread because it's really nice when i add minced meat inside i just realized i don't even have a lot on my list like i'm just seeing everything and i have them and i don't want to buy a lot of things because i wouldn't be using them so I'm in the baking aisle. I want to bake banana bread, but I can't find anything relating to that. So I think I wouldn't bake banana bread anymore. Or I'll just go to another supermarket to check. So let's get some butter. I got some items and I haven't opened any yet because I want to do it on camera. I also have to fill my spice jars. I got some spices. I actually got a lot of spices because my spice drawer is practically empty. It's filled with spices that I barely ever use. So I got things that I actually use on a daily. It's like a three in one. Actually, it's big. I have this one currently, like something like this. And I have like different sizes and I'm so happy. So yeah. This, the board, and one thing that I've never owned, you'd be shocked. I've never owned a rolling pin, and finally I got one. So that's about it for this package. Then I got this cutlery organizer, because my cut cutlery door is a mess. It expands and... It's just so practical to use. And this purchase that I'm really scared of. I got table mats. Oh wow. What's this? Nice. 
It came with two pieces. Uh, I don't know if silver would go with my aesthetics, but I got silver because the gold was really gold, like it was really shouty. So I got this. Uh, I'll try and style it, but I don't know if silver would go with what I want. But the mats are really nice. They actually look so pretty. I also got a lot of spices. Here are the spices I got. I'm going to fill them up right now. pretend like everything is going well everything is going wrong because tell me why I don't, I, I don't know I don't even know how to how to put it but I'm trying to make this tripod stand but it's been a small baby so I don't even know what to do I have stained my marble honestly that's if this isn't your sign to get to just get granite then leave it because i really can't with marble like it gets stained easily i just peeled paprika and curry on the marble and i've been scrubbing and scrubbing and nothing is working anyway let me show you guys my spices and the label just ignore the stain i'll show you guys what it looks like i don't know what i can do maybe i'll put a uh, baking soda and vin i don't even have vinegar maybe i'll just put baking soda and see what we can do <coughs> It's raining. I'm so glad it's raining. Let me show you. This is the stain. Now, how do I get this off? And then these are my spices. Let me show you the label. By the way, I printed the labels. Oh, it's not straight. Anyway, here, this is what it looks like. I just need to clean this drawer and arrange it. But this camera isn't standing properly. This in my phone is not standing properly. Finally, I've arranged this best drawer. At least I can rest now. Now it's time to tackle this. That was the most horrendous filming experience of my life. I had envisioned everything. I planned everything out. I had I had envisioned this dark mood, aesthetically pleasing ASMR video. And then it turned out to be just not nice. I don't even know if I can post it. But for the effort, I think I will. At this point, I don't even care. I'll just post whatever. I still have a lot of things to do. I haven't organized the cutlery drawer. What else? Actually, I don't have a lot to do. I'm just exaggerating. I was able to get rid of the curry and paprika stain from the marble with uh, baking soda, dish soap and a little bit of water. 